Hello and welcome to another exciting video and today I have an amazing thing to show you guys. You wouldn't believe it. The core set for Kingdom Death. Woo! This is a pretty big box. Uh, let me go ahead and just zoom it out. See how big it is compared to my table there. Yup, that big. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. That's why I have the X-Acto knife here with me. I guess I, I should zoom out the, uh, the camera out so you can see me and the box. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, and I'm back. And I have everything sort of um, laid out here for you guys. So I'm going to take this packet slip with my information that I got Kingdom Death and um, so far this is only the first wave from Kingdom Death and this is just the uh, and for the things included in the wave ones are the core games the 1.5 updates and I believe that's it I got my hobby knife here I'm gonna go ahead and slice it open Amazing, as you can see, it's a very sturdy box. Um, wow, that is really amazing. Um, hobby knife, a piece of cardboard, and I can see you can see the core game itself here. It's uh, it's nice and snug in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the box itself. I may just have to just pry it open. No, I got it. So there we go. Well, that's it. Nothing else in the box. Just this core game. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. Gonna condense it some more. Reposition the cameras and everything for you guys. Awesome! I just flipped it over. Uh, reposition the cameras and everything for you guys and uh, this is the back of the box it has uh, the art what looks like the uh, very beginning of it and then of course a mature contact rating and up to one to four players of course there are rules for uh, having additional players up to six stated here I'm gonna go ahead and just just uh, poke the uh, plastic Oh, it's so beautiful. Can't wait to start playing this game. Um, I actually played this game before with a, a friend's copy. He got the game uh, when they first launched. And it was a really fun game to play. Having a, uh, This game you really don't require a DM. Uh, and for those who don't know what a DM is, it's basically the acronyms for a dungeon master. Uh, the monsters sort of play themselves and uh, you can actually just have any player in your group be the monster for that phase. So wow this is a nice pretty box. Corners are pretty dented sadly so I guess that's so, um, that's what the boxes are. So I'm taking off the lid. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, let's put this out of the frame and somewhere out of the way where I won't knock it down. Okay. Cooperating. We have the miniature assembly. Assembly. Uh, you can go ahead. Go to build.kingdomdef.com and. You can look for building uh, instructions to how to build some of the miniatures here. Uh, some tape here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that off uh, right here. Off the camera. Not really off camera, but I'm trying to get everything in there. All the miniatures in here. Wow, that is a lot of minis. A lot of plastic. Uh, it's all in a bag. Nice, on a big bag. It says warning, 
to avoid damage to suffocation, keep this plastic away from babies and child. Do not use this bag in cribs, bag, bags, carriage, or play pens. This bag is not a toy. All right, cool. So that's all the miniatures in this box. A couple pieces of cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and put the box away. We have the... I believe this is the... Ooh, what is this called? Uh, I don't remember what this is called, but it's basically how you start your your adventures. And on the other side, as you can see, is the, uh, the phases you can take. Sitting up to settlement, survivors return, uh, gain things, update timeline, update death count, check milestone events, develop the principles and settlement location and uh, innovations up there in different locations. As you can see, we have the uh, innovation deck, if I can get it to stop glaring. Um, and prepare the deployment of survivors, any special showdowns, uh, records, inventories, and resources, and end the settlement phase right there. And it, it's a nice little uh, thing that folds up. Really nice. We have some uh, punch out tokens. We got some wound markers, some damage. Uh, uh, debuffs like accuracy, evasion, luck, insanity tokens, I believe. Um, Reroll tokens, the priority target system. The little, another thing of, uh, of the thing that says up there. And let's, more, more things to look at. Uh, another thing to go through. Oh, this is the the uh, mat that you fight the monsters in. It's a really big mat. You fold this out, and this is where you basically have the, the battles going on. We have a lot of cards and paper. We have the survivor sheets. The player's uh, inventory. Settlement sheet, and we have a bunch of cards. Um, these are disorders. They all look pretty nice and organized. I think this is the the butcher deck. Let me see. Here we go. There's that. This is the special hunts events. Uh, the AI for the Watcher, which I believe is the last thing you can fight. It's one of the hardest things to fight in the core game. Uh, what are these? Watcher. I honestly have no idea what's in any of these. I'm guessing settlement events. I am super excited. I can't wait to start playing. Some cool dice, as you can see. Uh, these are uh, D10s. And these are location points on the uh, survivors and players. So you can actually get uh, body damage, uh, if I can show you well. Body damage, uh, hand damage, waist damage, uh, foot damage. Oh no, this one's head damage. And yeah, uh, all the ten symbols on the dice are the lanterns, and that's really cool. These are, oh, whoa, it's kind of chipped in the corner. That's not very good. Um, I believe these are the innovations, things you can build. Um, that belongs there. In this corner, you can see we have the possible gears we can get for our adventures. It's really nice. Uh, some more gears. I have a few other uh, cards of these since I've since I've been collecting the uh, the pinups from them. 
so a couple of silicone gels to keep any any moistures away and what is this this i believe oh this is the the core war uh, roebuck i want to go ahead and open this up uh, and see if there's any damage to my uh, copy i've noticed uh a lot of people has been noting that a couple pages have been a uh, crease and I don't want to have any creases in my copy of the rule book not if it's a uh, fresh out of the fresh out of the book oh this is such amazing artwork so amazing I don't see any creases. None of the corners are creased. I think I got a really good book. I don't feel any any lumps, di distortions, or anything on this. Um, yeah, I'm a very lucky guy. Cool. Uh, more silicones. That's really nice to have. Uh, I think for the tokens and whatnot. I'm very pleased uh, with with this. I'm going to go ahead and start having uh, game sessions at it at my workplace and at my uh, gaming area. Uh, since I know only a few people in, people in my area will have this, uh, this game itself. I had a friend who has the copy. He sold it to, uh, to somebody else. But now I can actually enjoy the games with uh, my friends and start host, hosting, uh, hosting games for any other persons who... Who wants to actually uh, play the game and check it out for themselves. Uh, the next thing for me is to, of course, build everything for the to get started uh, gaming. And of course, uh, card sleeves for all these cards. Uh, I had to do my research for that. And to uh, pick out days when I want to bring this in and uh, have uh, demos out for it, basically. And to probably make some photocopies of those two, since those two are very important. But I think I can get them off uh, off a of PDA. But uh, let's see, I have not opened this. And I guess that's what I'll open up in the end of the video. Since uh, there isn't much to uh, explore right now, since none of the miniatures are built. Uh, do you guys want me to start making uh, videos on how to build survivors? Um, because I can totally do that. I don't have everything, uh, with me to start building them right now, but I'm going to have to build a few using, uh, just, uh, super, super glue and some dull hobby blades and whatnot. Can I get this open? Wow. Rude. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I have a few of the pinups, uh, on my counter. Or on my desk, I should say. Uh, I got the the Christmas pinup. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I got that, and I got the uh, the Halloween one. Those two were the were the only pinups I got. And of course, I I believe I picked up a few of the uh, uh, special characters, courage characters, for my friend. So I have this thing out. I'm trying to open it. Uh, for you guys, and whoa, more things came out. What's that? Um, oh, this is the this thing right here is how you determine uh, the actions of the monster. So, in most games, the monster will be in the middle, and you have your survivors uh, on the outskirts uh, fighting the monsters, and once it's uh, dead. By getting rid of its, uh, I forgot if it's the uh, the AI deck or the HL deck. But you can actually loot its body. Uh, there are some things you can get from its body, like skin, uh, organs, skulls. And uh, you can use that to build items to improve your settlers. Uh, not settlers, settler, settlers, but your uh, survivors. But that's basically it. I almost opened everything uh, except for, of course, the tokens and the 
building the miniatures by themselves. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here for you guys. And hopefully you like this. Uh, this is sort of my own uh, unboxing of the whole thing. And uh, let me know. Did you guys get the copy of it yet? Is it in, in your possessions? Are you still waiting for it in shipping? Uh, so have a good night because it's like 2 a.m. here for me. Bye.